Ashes of Creation announced in the January livestream that they have already got over 100,000 people signed up for Alpha 2, which means over 100,000 people have bought a cosmetic bundle for at least $250, which is huge. That is more players than the average daily New World player count, and a lot of other games that are out there. And for it being an alpha and seeing that many people headed into the game, it's going to be a massive deal for Intrepid. Not only is it going to vastly spread the word of Ashes of Creation out there to those who aren't aware of its existence, but it's also going to gain even more people in the alpha testing, adding to that 100,000 players, which Steven even predicts will happen when we get an announcement date along with when they drop a few new trailers. Which honestly, if the hype behind it continues to build up and they don't shut off buying packs at some point, then we could probably even double this number just through Alpha 2 testing alone. But apparently their player number goals for Alpha 2 were only 30,000 players. So we've more than doubled their expected amount of people, which means they're gonna have to be prepared when these servers launch for the Alpha testing. Not only that, but Steven's original estimate was Ashes of Creation would take around 30 million dollars to complete. I know we're well past that at this point. Steven has put in more of his own money beyond that 30 million that he contributed, plus the Kickstarter, although I can't really seem to find what we're up to now. I know it's been said at some point, but if you remember, put it in the comments. But with 30 million of Steven's own money and with the amount of people who have bought in, Ashes of Creation is probably in a position where it is now more than funded. If you think about it, over 10,000 people were in Alpha 1, which means at least 10,000 people with an exception of a few who won keys through giveaways and such spent $500 or more to play Alpha 1. Some spent even more than that if they bought into the packages that gave them Alpha 0 access along with other perks, which from those 10,000 players alone, Intrepid has gotten $5 million in bundle payments. On top of that, if over 100,000 players have Alpha 2 access, let's take away those Alpha 1 testers who have already had access, then 90,000 people have paid at least $250 for Alpha 2 2 access, which is another $22.5 million made from cosmetic bundles. And this isn't even including the amount of people who bought individual cosmetics after they bought bundles or the smaller bundles that gave them beta access. Now, this obviously isn't all profit as studios have to be paid for, employees have to be paid, equipment needs to be purchased, which all cuts into that money. But I imagine that was stuff that Steven thought of with his original 30 million prediction. And since the development has ramped up and they've added more employees and bought a bigger studio and all of that, that number has probably gone up. Plus, we are now many years beyond that 2017 announcement and stuff gets more expensive with time and all of that. So that all ties into why it's probably costing them a lot more money than originally predicted. But if you take at least 30 million of Steven's own money, 5 million for Alpha 1, 22.5 million for Alpha 2, 3.2 million for the Kickstarter, then Intrepid so far has over $60.7 million in funding towards Ashes of Creation. And that number is probably way higher higher than that if you take into account individual cosmetics, beta bundles, and more Steven's own money. So even if Ashes of Creation costs double Steven's original prediction, then Ashes should be well beyond the point of being funded. Which is why you could imagine Intrepid is taking their sweet ass time with Alpha 2. Putting a game out to 100,000 players to showcase to the world is going to be a huge deal and they are going to want the game to be fairly flushed out to the public. You don't want a buggy mess with little content, you want to make something that although is not a complete game gives the people watching a good idea of what they can expect from it. Because those 100,000 people are going to spread the ashes of creation hype so far between content creators and just telling their friends, and there has been zero marketing thus far for the game, which makes this an absolute huge accomplishment. Who needs marketing when you just have a massive amount of hype built up behind your game that is going to continue to grow further and further right up until the launch day and beyond? This is not something that happens very often in the game industry, especially for games that don't already have established IPs that are coming from a brand new studio. It is incredible to see and it just gets me even more excited for Ashes of Creation. The hype is there and now Intrepid needs to prove to us that this game is going to live up to the hype through Alpha 2 and beyond. What are your thoughts on the amount of Alpha 2 testers so far in Ashes of Creation? Drop a comment down below and if you're new to Ashes of Creation and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.